Right, my arties. I am surprised to discover more of my subscribers enjoy listening to blues music than I imagined. I first got into blues music way back in my early to mid-teens. That was during the late 1960s. Here is the first 50 seconds of a wonderful piece of music with the lyrics by By The Smith entitled Come on in this house. of music that. For the present I shall not be using this side of the circuit diagram. That page can be uh, put to one side. There we go. Right, the frequency changer. What can be said about that part of a radio that has not already been said? The answer to that question is Nothing. V1 X79 is a triode hexode frequency changer. Internally the triode control uh, grid, grid 1, is connected to the oscillator injection, uh, that's grid 3, of the uh, exode. I have said in previous videos I have produced. Before embarking on a vintage radio repair or restoration it is wise to become familiar with the radio circuit diagram beforehand. Here I shall whiz through this part of the uh, radio circuit diagram like a dose of salts. So here goes. External aerial input onto the shortwave coils L1 and L2 and load bypass resistor R1, which is a 10k, to deck. From there onto the uh, frame aerials L3 medium wave and L4 long wave. Aerial wave change selection is via uh, S1 and S2 and Aerial tuning is via TC1. Any selected signal goes into grid 1 of the EXO side of V1. Now over to the local oscillator, including the triode side of V1. Tune coils L7 and L8 and L9 and L10 form the local oscillator, which is ganged with TC2. The oscillator varies as the tuning is adjusted. S3 and S4 are the wave change switches. Here the oscillator runs at 470 kilocycles above the tuned frequency. The oscillator minus the received signal will run at 470 kilohertz regardless of where the tuning capacitor is set at. This is the IF or intermediate frequency. Now back to the radio chassis. The first task is to reconnect the uh, HT supply to this side of the uh, radio circuit. It would not look good once I had replaced all the uh, old capacitors, which I will do in a few minutes, only to discover at switch on afterwards I had not uh, reconnected the HT. <laughs> so here are the four replacement capacitors. I shall fit into this side of the radio circuitry after I have reconnected the HT supply. There we go. Those capacitors just there have been replaced by capacitors there, 
there and there. This set is now plugged into the hot or raw mains and should have warmed up by now. Volume up. Tuning will be direct via the uh, drum pulley as a drive cord is non-existent. Oh, nothing. I'll try. External air. I don't expect that to do much. Still nothing. I feel a fault finding coming on. I shall begin by uh, checking voltages on pin 6, that's the anode, or the exode, and pin 1, which is grid 3 of the exode also. So those two to start with. OK, here goes. To the, on to the anode. 9876. 198, that's about right. Pin 1. 1.2. There should be at least 45 volts on that, that one there, on the grid 3. Oh well. Let's see, that... 100k resistor might be at fault. I shall check that. I'll just unplug this uh, radio and just do a quick discharge on the HT to deck. Yeah, that seems okay. Right, I'll just unsolder this. Yeah, there we go. Right, meter onto uh, Holmes range. One end on there. According to that, that meter there, that resistor is uh, OC, that is open circuit. There, the old one removed and its replacement just there. I will put some of this uh, silicon rubber sleeve in on it and uh, solder it into place. There it is, that 100k resistor soldered into place. Right, I'll plug this radio in to the mains and uh, switch on and wait for it to warm up. Should have warmed up by now. Oh yes! Colleagues in distribution warehouses who are mostly men Always quite loud, loud and lively. Today, Chris McLaughlin joins us now. Chris, you can explain yes. more. There we go. Rightio. To recap, which does not amount to much, this radio returned to full working order once I went on to replace four capacitors. C2, C9 and C11 with note point note 47 microfarads and C8 with note point note note 47 microfarad capacitor. I reconnected the frequency changer and I have amplifier to the HT rail here, here, here and here and replaced OC R2 voltage feed resistor to grid 3 of uh, the exode side of V1 X79 with a shiny new 100k resistor. OK, my next video production, part 7, I will progress onto the cosmetic side of this vintage radio restoration, spray painting, fitting drive cord, cleaning wave change contacts, cleaning valve bases and lubricating bearings and pulleys etc. Thank you very much for viewing. It really is appreciated. Bye for now.